Okay, welcome to Marty's Beer Show. It's pretty good sometimes. Uh, I'm having a go today at uh, Fonzie Abbott Brewing um, Company out of Brisbane, uh, Albion. Now, uh, Fonzie Abbott, I just did a review, depending on when I upload it, on this bad boy, the Pineapple Nitro Splice. Uh, and if I could make myself one, go check it out if it's uploaded anyways. So Fonzie Abbott there, uh, been around for about 10 years, 2010 or so they started. Um, they they make uh, they roast their own coffees. They make gin. They make vodka. So something for any time of the day, and uh, they make beer. So that's pretty fucking cool. Um, and I saw them at a, at a beer festival uh, not long ago. So I've been trying to get a get a start to get up there and grab some. So I did. So anyways, uh, first off the bat is the Golden Boy. Um, it is their uh, mid strength, three and a half percenter. So it's um. Uh, crisp, refreshing lager. So let's just uh, let's just get on with the show. Literally, because the show, and we're getting on with it. And got a few beers here, so I won't bore you with the uh, too long with it. But let's just um, yeah, one standard drink, three and a half percent. So you know, mid. That's that's really good. Sometimes your mid strength beers. I find uh, do taste a little bit, a little bit lackluster. Uh, that's still, that's still got a pretty good, um, pretty good, pretty not not overly rich, but just not watery. It's good. That's and it's a lager, so yeah, they're always good, but um, not bad. Uh, twin palms. Uh, tropical pale ale. So what do we got? Four and a half percent, one point three standard drinks. What do we got? Uh, heavily dry hopped fruit flavors, light and body business, easy drinking. So I do like some of the fruitier beers because sometimes fruitier beers are good. Uh, that's a that's a famous quote by um uh, me. Uh, Today, so uh, let's have a go at this one. So, what is it? It's a uh, tropical pale ale. So, your pale ales, it's pale ales range in such different aspects, uh, such different. Anyways, uh, one man's pale is another man's different drink. So, that's good. Yeah, it has a bit of that bitterness, but not too much. Some of the some of the pale ales will have a bit of a like a really strong bitterness, and it puts a lot of people who don't drink craft beer, who don't drink their stock standard, you know, fucking piss water shit. Um, they put them off them when they try a craft beer and they have a pale ale and they go, oh, it tastes like feet. But that's just got a subtle bitterness. It's but it's still refreshing. So yeah. I like that one, Twin Palms. I like most of the beers. Uh, not all the beers, but some of the beers. Anyways, uh, so this is the original lager. Familiar enough to share, bold enough to save us. So 1.4 standard drinks, 4.5%. So uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm guessing this is what the mid strength probably means based on uh, being that this is a lager and the mid strength is a lager. But I have been wrong. Once, very few times, I'm always right. Anyways, uh, original lager. It's probably their original one too, I don't know. It is their lager one. Oh, that's brilliant. That is really smooth. That is real, what is it? One point, four and a half percent. That's a smooth, bloody, hot summer's day. Bung in your kick. Now they're they're from Brisbane. Well, I haven't actually found them at any bottle shops. I actually went straight to their um their brew house, their flagship store, I guess, in uh, in Albion, Fox Street in Albion. Um, cool little cafe and all that. That's the only place I've actually found them there. So, um, or they've got an online shop. So that's also a thing. But that's bloody that's bloody brilliant. So far, so good. Well, I'm pretty happy with the. Uh, the turnout, because um, this one, I won't spoil it for you, but this one was pretty fucking good, but 
So this is the core range. This was a very limited edition uh, beer. So um, I actually got the last three cans in the world. So pretty shit hot, aren't I? Um, they do have another um, uh, mango dream, mango and streams uh, sour, but at the time of printing, uh, could not get my hands on any of them. So. This is a classic pale. So this was the uh, something other pale, tropical pale. So this is classics. So I know not as tropical, maybe not as fruity. What are they saying? Traditionally four with style and dependable approach on flavour. One and a half bangers, five percent. So time will tell what those words mean. Got a bit of froth, uh, David Hazel froth on the top. But let's just bung that in that one. So that's looking a bit. Uh, more, it's same sort of colour, but more clear than its uh, stable mate over here, so. Oh, that's entirely different. So that's definitely got a bit of a fruitier and bitterness. This is more... More adjusted that bit of kick that's what i was talking about how the a lot of guys who can't can't handle their pale ales might go oh it's tastes like something weird the uh, tongue hurts but i like it that's pretty good yeah we're going pretty well here guys sometimes you hit the bar and sometimes well you know um so what have we got? A Saison, watermelon and pear, plant-based goodness. Um, so 1.6 standard drinks, five and a half bangers. Sweet Saison with cold pressed watermelon and pear. This is not a sour. So there you go, Saison is a... Jeez, it's, it's open to interpretation to a lot of... Um... It's always, yeah. Sometimes a plum, cherry, strawberry saison, a lot of sort of that sort of a thing gets bunged in it. So, um, yeah, usually, but then again, every beer, everything does its thing. So, straight off the bat, I can smell the pear. I like pears. Pretty good. I don't eat them that much. You know, you eat the whole, you eat a pear, you can eat the whole, the whole yeah, you get the whole thing. I'm like an avocado. So that's got that. That taste, I can't pick it. it tastes like this thing, this thing I had once somewhere. Uh, anyways. Yeah, it's got a very subtle watermelon, very subtle pear richness to it. A bit. Not mega refreshing. Not mega refreshing. Kind of Yeah, it gets caught up with a bit of um, a bit of a weird little little banger. Not super duper refreshing, but not terrible. Not. I've done a review on a watermelon beer before and made my own. Go check that out too, because I just do that sometimes. But anyways, it's a say some watermelon pear. Uh, yeah, give that a medium. Anyways, uh, last on the uh, thing for the place is the Valhalla Good IPA. Valhalla Good IPA from Brisbane. So this packs a bit of a punch at 6.4 percenters, 1.9 dingle dangers. So that's that's pretty strong beer. Um, so yeah, it uses yeast um, and stuff. Most things do. American hops, fruitiness, citrus, blah blah blah. So let's just dig in because um. Sometimes talking about beer is not as good as drinking it. Actually, all the time, all the time, I much prefer to drink it than talk it. Talk. Well, I prefer. I like to do both. But anyways, now straight out of town. That is as dark as two of these beers combined. Um, it's it's looking like your strong amber uh, beer. So. What is it? It's a an IPA. So let's in your paleo. Let's just uh. Hmm. 
it's it's pretty intense. You can taste. Once they, I I found. Don't quote me on this. I found once something goes over over like the five and a half six percent, you can kind of just taste a bit more of a bitterness to them or something. That's got that there, but it's still pretty good. Um, not really refreshing, but a bit more interesting because you know sometimes, sometimes there's a, there's a beer for every occasion: breakfast, lunch, dinner, refreshing beer. Uh, when you just want to have a few something different, because you know if every beer look the same, it'd be the same. But anyways, shit hot. So, in my um, professional opinion, kind of a boring choice because the lagers are always going to be easy drinking, but. Now I'm gonna get this fella. Twin Palms Tropical Pale, Fonzie yeah, Abbott. Go, go check them out. Go check out the website. Go check their store. Um, I bought two. Can't see it, but I bought two cartons to get these six beers. So um, got a few left around. So I'm glad they're pretty good because um, I'm gonna have to drink them later on. But anyways, thanks for watching. Go check out Fonzie Abbott. Uh, thanks Fonzie Abbott for banging some good beers, and. Uh, Sweet, like and subscribe and check out my Facebook page I've got. And uh, anyways, it's really good in the world. Marty's Beer Show.